What's up guys, we're back for uh, week two of the Eagles franchise. Uh, we're coming off a big win. We put up 56 points against the Lions. We gave up 14 points, but I kind of know that was a couple of just dumb plays where I was kind of goofing around. Um, this is coming off a big performance from Malik Willis with five touchdowns, include, and also one rushing touchdown. Um, he did have the three interceptions, two of them for pick sixes, uh, about the five-yard line, so not ideal there, but uh, I'm not going to do that again. You guys got the point of me uh, running that stupid play. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this, and um, we're going to start with the camp standout of Gregory Rousseau. So he, I think he has a chance at uh, Superstar or X-Factor this week. I'm not sure what he's at, but um, we'll see what the challenge is. You want to impress me? Yeah, see, so he, they're saying he's pretty close to being a big name player. Try to tell your coach I'm ready for every challenge, comes my way. All right, I'm pretty sure that's basically what he said last time. So, all right, so complete his breakout. So yeah, so I would assume this is gonna upgrade his uh, development trait, but he needs three sacks or tackles for loss. So he did get two last game, which I thought was a, a little bit sketch because I wasn't sure if the tackle for loss was gonna count or not. But um, we don't need to do anything here. We'll do the weekly strategy in a second. We'll go ahead and look at the players that we have to upgrade. Probably Rousseau, yeah. Um, so we'll go ahead and get his power rushing up again. He has an 88. And we'll see what his dev trade is real quick. He's only a star. So it would only get him to a superstar. But I mean, that's still pretty important. And if he keeps up the performance the whole season, then he might get it at the end of the season. Go up to X Factor. Um, we'll get power rusher also for Drum Payne. Alright, um, Malik Willis gets an upgrade, so that's nice. Um, we're going to get his field general up, get his awareness and his passing up a little bit. So, deep and mid accuracy, that's pretty good since we have a lot of speed at receiver. So that'll be helpful, I'm just going to auto upgrade him. Not too worried about a probably fourth string D tackle. Um, so we're going to wait on the staff points for now, I want to build up a little bit and um, we'll kind of do that all at once. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the weekly strategy. So they have Jonathan Taylor, so that's going to be fun. Another really good running back. We saw how good our run defense played last week. So we'll just kind of, we'll see what it has to find outside running. Yeah, we're going to keep that again. Um, that seemed to work well last time. So we're not going to change anything there. Um, and they don't have very good defense, it looks like. So... To kill 42 points, so we could have another big week scoring. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to do blitz counter. We're gonna do another run one. We'll do the run inside. I think that's what we did the first week. Um, again, that worked pretty well. well. We should just be able to keep this the same. Um, so yeah, that all looks good. Uh, my controller's not working very well right now. I don't know what's happening. Um, so we'll go ahead and sim that and make sure there's no injuries. Oh, we got a high ankle sprain for Blake Cash when he was a starter. That's not ideal. Okay. So that kind of sucks. Not sure who's going to start there now. Let's look at that real quick. Let's see how long he's out to. So other than that, I don't think we had any injuries week one. Um, yeah, I mean, this all looks normal. that oh yeah Cashman he's listed as a starter but he was at our backup middle linebacker so um, that really didn't affect us that much to be honest except for some certain packages where we might have four linebackers in but um, that will be will be fine uh, that will mess up I'll have to remember to put Cashman back in once he comes back probably at the I, I had him backing up every position to get him some extra play time but yeah that shouldn't affect us too too much um, it also doesn't tell us that he got injured so that kind of is annoying, but um, all right. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into uh, the game real quick. All right. So we kicked off to start. So we're on defense um, and three receivers. I mean, we're just gonna start out playing just a normal zone. Again, we're gonna play off a lot and try to just help on the run in these short passes. 
I tried to switch to him and uh, it didn't work, but he ended up getting a hit stick anyway, so it didn't matter. Maybe some Tampa 2. Could be wrong with the middle. I'm gonna pinch right here. Come inside and help. Yeah. I just ran right through him. Okay. I don't know what happened there, so. <laughs> I was spamming A and he just didn't want to tackle him, apparently. I mean, I read that perfectly. He was in position. He just, just walked right by him. Okay. Ah. Thought Woolen would get there for that swap, but it was a good catch. I'm going to look at their offense real quick. Alright, so we're going to look at their depth chart real quick and see their starters. Um, we already know our team by now, so we need to look at that probably. So we got Tua, decent quarterback, a little bit better than Kirk Cousins, at least overall wise. Um, maybe a little bit less accurate, but I mean, he's a little bit more of a threat to run. So we're going to have to watch out for that a little bit this game. Uh, they got Jonathan Taylor, you saw, and they have Kate Gainwell, who's a decent receiver, so that's a decent one-two punch for them. They probably won't use Gainwell too much this game, at least, but we still got to have that in the back of our mind. Um, they have Garrett Wilson and <laughs> Jamison Williams, so they got the the rookie duo, and then they have Curtis Samuel. They have Jamison Williams starting over Curtis Samuel, even though he's a little bit higher overall, but, I mean, that speed is going to be tough to stop, but I'm not too worried about that because we play a lot of zone. We'll have deep coverage, so I'm not too worried. Uh, Austin Hooper, decent tight end. They got a lot of decent players on offense. Nothing special, uh, other than Jonathan Taylor, obviously. But their offense overall just seems pretty average. Jonathan Jackson, not bad. But oh, Creed Humphrey, probably top three center in the league. And he's also very young, so he's going to be good. Um, and Ryan Ramchick. So they got some d decent offensive linemen. Um, still nothing special offensively, so we'll look at their defense. Bryce Hoff, decent young and... Another decent young defensive end. D tackles, again, nothing special. And probably run up the middle quite a bit this game, which is going to work to our advantage. Um, let's see, Zal Shire, no. Jalen Brown, like, they, yeah, they got a lot of decent people. I wonder what they have, like, stud wise. I mean, who were their top picks? Jesse Bates, probably. Are they really, though? Like, they probably took Tua with their first pick in the fantasy draft, in all honesty. Or. I don't know, Jonathan Taylor, maybe. I mean, these are probably their first two picks, and then Jesse Bates is their third pick. I mean, they got some youth, at least, but, I, I mean, that's not that great of a team, in my opinion. So I'm not too worried about them. I don't know why they have Campbell going all the way over there. They're going to run it up the middle anyway. So it didn't really hurt us, but... And Campbell got hurt. Okay. Going to run up. Blitz here on second and long. They're probably gonna pass this. Nah, I tried to come over and help that and I messed it up. Tyson Campbell's got a shoulder strain. I'm gonna keep him out because we have Tariq Wolin who's um, capable of playing and it's gonna hurt our slot corner but we have some decent depth anyway so I'm not too worried about it. Get that sack, come on. Oh, that was a weird animation. I went basically right past him. I just missed it. I'm surprised we didn't get any pressure there. Okay, they're gonna run this, I'm gonna blitz. Fred Warner's gonna come up the middle. Alright. It's a good stop. Put him in third and long. They're gonna have to pass this now. They're gonna try to run a man here. Um I'm gonna run this linebacker blitz, but I'm gonna um, I'm just going to man Wilson and I'm just going to play like a middle zone here in case someone comes across. And, okay, I messed that up. <laughs> so you get the stop, hold him to a field goal. I'm going to try to block this with Hendrickson. Yeah, I got a bad jump. And he makes, oh, he missed it. <laughs> Hit it off the crossbar. We'll take that. I mean, that was a definitely makeable field goal. I'm surprised he missed that. Start off with a little option, get AJ Dillon going, hopefully. Um, I mean, there's nobody on that right side, so I'm able to take this outside if the edge guy comes in, which he doesn't, so we're just going to take up the middle, get a couple yards. I mean, in first down, I'm just going to basically run up the middle every time, get a couple yards, see what I get. If I get into second short, then, I mean, that gives me a shot 
to take a deep play and see what I can do. I mean, second and five, I'm not going to go too crazy because it's not an easy third down. But if I get into second and one or two, then I can take a deep shot and then just run up the middle. And if, even if I don't get on third down, I'll mostly get on fourth down. So I like to just run up the middle. Um, I have him open over here. Not the best throw, but got it. Stayed in bounds, got the first down. Um, just, still just give me the same play over and over. I'm gonna go into single back. I'd like to have, there we go, a little bit more spread out. Um, yeah, I don't love the plays either here, so. I really gotta change my playbook, I just gotta finish my playbook and start using that, but this one's not bad so far. It's just a lot of repetitive plays and nothing special. I'm just gonna take the dump off here. Why well, I got open, but it was a little bit too late and I, it was a risky pass if I would've tried to throw it over that defender's head on that out. Um, we're gonna come out of this. We're gonna go to pistol, I think. I, I want to have three receivers. There we go. Well, this is four receivers, but one of them is probably the running back. But no, it is okay. So I have John Ross in now. Um, they're pretty spread out. I'm just gonna run this up the middle. Uh, I'll do this. Hopefully, he gets over in time, but. Is he going? Come on, Jesus. I barely got that off. I didn't really like that play, actually. That took a long time to actually run it from when I hit the snap, and then it didn't really let me control McKinnon at first because it was a weird handoff. But we're going to go ahead and run the play that I was originally in. I don't really like the audibles out of that. McKinnon might get open right here, depending on what this linebacker does, but we'll see. Yeah, the linebacker's dropping off, so McKinnon's going to be open. Just get a couple yards out of that. I'm going to come out of this blue book. Um, there we go. This is more what I was looking for. I want to run some crossing plays. A lot of the stuff that in this playbook doesn't have a lot of that. Um... Gonna come outside, kind of draw this guy. Oh, that was a terrible throw. I mean, I was under pressure, but All right, that didn't work how I wanted. I'm gonna do the power read. This looks like it's gonna be a pitch, maybe. Oh no, it's a probably. Oh, I see what he's doing. Okay. So we're gonna have to watch this guy. Okay, that was bad read. I mean, that guy was right there. Either way, he just kind of sat there. Did not like that play. Still testing things out. It's got third and long now, so not ideal. I'm gonna bring Chark across. Hopefully he goes under McBride. McBride should take that DB deep. Hopefully the linebacker will come off on Chark and he'll get open. The other two aren't really gonna have much. Eh, that's a bad throw, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I kinda just stalled out at the end there. I'll take the field goal though. That probably could have been an interception. My kicks are a little bit better today. <laughs> it's a little bit better start. <coughs> Kick it off is going to be a touchback. So if I can get the ball back, hope to get another quick stop. I'm shift over to the right in case it's a run. Try to bait this throw over here, which they kind of do a lot, but he's not going to do that. Uh, okay, just throws it away. That first second he was throwing that to Jonathan Taylor. When I saw the ball coming that way, I was like, well, that's an easy pick, but do it out of bounds over my head. So another run up the middle. I get the tackle that time. I don't run right by him. Played that a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, we got them in a third and decently long, so. Um, hopefully, get some pressure. I might. I can't switch to the DB. Okay, well, that's not ideal. Alright, get a pass breakup with Rousseau. I was trying to switch to the corner there, and then it kept switching me to Rousseau, and I just kind of dropped back accidentally, so <laughs> luckily it worked out for me, but 
Not what I was hoping to do there. Might be able to get a decent return here. Cut it back across. Okay, that guy played that pretty well. Thought I might get a little bit more out of that, but it was a decent return. A lot of horizontal, but oops. Not what I wanted. There we go, Titan attack. Actually, if, I'm gonna go ahead and just run it how it is. They have a lot of people in the box. They might bliss this guy off the edge over here on the left. So if he does, I need to get this out a little quicker, which he drops back. That kind of actually hurts. I'm just gonna go ahead and run it. Take the slide. Learned my lesson last game: not sliding, getting that fumble. Luckily, Willis didn't get hurt on that. Um. Spread it out a little bit. I don't think we even ran a single screen last game. We're gonna try one here. It looks like they're playing a lot of off coverage here, so this could actually help. They shouldn't have anybody in the at the running back too quickly. He doesn't get off, so get the ball out. It's still gonna work out. I don't know where this lineman's going. Um, he got stuck on the one of the blockers, so that kind of made that play develop a little slower than I like, but it ended up working out. Charks, no one's over top of Chark. He could beat the safety deep potentially if he comes up. Nope, he doesn't, but I have A open, doesn't matter. Got blitz like crazy. All right, it's third and one. See, that's why I was talking about taking a, a deep shot. Now I can just run it. Even if I don't get it here, I'm gonna go for him fourth. I'm in kind of no man's land. It's a long field goal, um, too close to punt. So it's an easy decision for me to go for it if I were to not get it, but I should pretty easily get this or not. Just spoke a little too soon. I had the hole there and I just missed it. Kind of close up quickly, but yeah, see, they're, I mean, they're even telling me to go for it. I'll just run it up the gut again. Um, gonna switch sides. I mean, I could send down people Jones deep here, but actually, I don't have time. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run it. Yeah, I get it easily and some more. I mean, they were doing like a goal line defense there, so I could have sent down people Jones deep, but he had a chance at the touchdown there. Um, he maybe had one guy covering him, but um, it was a little risky in case he didn't get open and that guy came off on him, then I would have just been stuck with the ball in my hand and not had anything to do with it. And they were all gonna be in the backfield quickly. So another read option here, he stays another couple yards. We have another second and short, so I could take a shot here. They're actually leaving this side a little bit open for this run right here. So um, hopefully my blockers get some decent blocking, decent right there, so I get touchdown. So that was one where if I was further back, I would have taken a shot, but I was in the red zone already. I didn't need to do anything too crazy. Um, get a touchdown out of it to AJ Dillon. Another bad kick to the right. I don't know why I keep doing that. I still need Rousseau to do something. I need him to get the superstar. That's hard with defensive players. like defensive linemen especially because they just don't have as many opportunities. Offensive players, I can just target a receiver 50 times a game if I have to. Can't do that with the uh, defensive linemen. See what I can do here so I can get some pressure with him. It's probably going to be a run. Yeah, I mean, they're just running it the other direction. Maybe get the tackle for loss, but I need it to be Rousseau. Bring some pressure. Maybe he'll get a... Uh... Yeah, it looks like this... Uh... Tackle is fatigued. I try to spin inside, didn't work. What? <laughs> what is that? I'm on top of him, and my guy just falls in front of him. Nothing I can do about that. All right, try this again. Try the outside this time. Doesn't work either. I mean, oh, we gotta pick that Warner. Home to a field goal. Didn't get anything with Rousseau. Got a decent jump. I'm not going to take the penalty there and try diving at his legs. I wasn't going to get there. If I got a little bit better jump, I would have had it, but... Doesn't matter. See, I finally get a kick return opportunity, so I can do anything with this. I'm going to bring it out anyway. It was in the end zone. It's not anyway, so I got to return it. See if my blocks develop. Which I kind of do. Eh. Decent return. Get 
a little bit more than I would have got if I would have taken touch back, but nothing special. So I'm going to start with the read option here. They've been giving me the inside run every time, so I might just try to take it outside with Mal Malik Willis, so we'll see what happens. Nope, he stays again. Oh, what? He didn't hand it off there? Okay. I 100% was hitting A. I even said that I had it again. I'm going to send Quez deep here. I'm hoping that the safety comes over to the left with McBride and gives me the single coverage on the outside with Quez. Uh, he does not, uh, but I have to scramble now. Actually, I have Y opened. Terrible pass, but I thought I got my feet set before I threw that, but I guess not. We have to route with Quez again. <laughs> I could try it, but we're not even going to mess with that right now. No, he can stay off on it anyway. Have A open. Try to bride. Easy first down. Run a little RPO action. I haven't really run the ball much with Willis this game. I had an opportunity at that, that one play, but had the guy open deep. I just threw it too far in front of the guy and into the defender. Um, I mean, I'm probably just going to run this most likely. Yeah. Probably could have got a couple more yards there if I would have went a little more to the right, but I got decent yardage. Second medium. Just run some slants. I'm going to run. I'm going to run Ian Thomas deep here. Try to clear him out. Free up some space over the middle for Watkins or Peoples Jones. Kind of don't like McBride being right here because if Watkins comes all the way across, McBride's defender will be like right in his face. But yeah, see that didn't work how I wanted. Try to throw it away. I did it too late. That was a bad play. But I like this setup. McBride could get open on this wheel route. Most likely DJ Chark here, but we'll see what happens. Chark gets deep. Just gonna, oh my god, that was like 10 yards short of the receiver. What the hell? Yeah, that was just a, a really bad throw. Didn't really have anything there, but... Turnover nonetheless. I still need to get some stats with Rousseau. I thought Jair could have jumped out a little bit better. He kind of just stood there. And switch here. They're probably running this. I'm going to pinch. Come on. Oh, they faked it. Uh, I couldn't get over there. Ah, oh, Probably an eligible man downfield, maybe, because they... Yeah. <coughs> Looks like it might have been an RPO when he waited too long. So I'll go ahead and accept that. That helps out a lot. Drops him back a little bit. Could have been another pick, but we'll take the penalty. Um, I was expecting a run on the last one, but probably passing here. Ah, saw him, but I got stuck on another receiver. Take down two minute warning. Uh, if we get the stop, I can call a timeout. I, w I still have two minutes. I wasn't worried about it there. I'd rather keep my three timeouts. I'm gonna pinch and come here. I'll watch Garrett Wilson on this outside. Nope, they got it the other way. Ooh, that's close. I don't think he got that. But <laughs> of course, it's under two minutes, so I can't even challenge that. It's gotta be them in the booth. I mean, that was close. I, I kind of want to look at that. Where's the first sound marker? Of course, it's on the other side of the field, so I can't even see. I mean, it's like almost exactly on the line. He's definitely passed, but is the ball pass is the question. And I mean, I don't think so. I don't think he got that, but they didn't challenge it. Nothing I can do about this. <laughs> that kind of sucks. I would have loved to get this out there and get the ball back. Alright. They got second inches. They, they're probably going to keep passing. I'm going to send a blitz just in case. Okay. They ran that quickly. I was trying to set some things up. I wanted to run a blitz try to get Rousseau a little time to get a sack. I mean, there's one meter run cover four here. I need. A, I want a coverage sack with Rousseau, but I mean, he hasn't get any pressure this game. Uh, Logan Wilson's a little bit slow. 
Thought I might be able to get there on that. Send a little bit of a blitz. Wow. I'm gonna try to bring him over here. Okay, I couldn't get over there quick enough. I was trying to send a little stunt and get uh, Russo open. I, I need to get him these the sacks, but nothing's working. Oh, he's almost there. No. Take over Minka. One of these plays could be a covered sack, but oh god, he's wide open. He didn't even get it though, wow, got the stop anyway. I still have all three timeouts, so I can still get a drive out of this. Just gonna kick it out of bounds, hopefully I don't get too bad field position, that looks decent, 23 yard line. We'll take that, that was not a very good punt from them. Um, we'll start out with, uh, we'll start with the screen. Hopefully I can break something loose, get a couple yards. If it doesn't work out, I still have my timeout, so I'm not too worried about it. Guess it if this guy gets blocked. Of course not. Oh, still breaks the tackle. Wait for this blocker. Got a bounce. Save my timeout. Still have all three. Got a big play. I mean, I was lucky that he broke that tackle. That guy had three people right in front of him. No one picked him up. Someone's got to pick that guy up. <laughs> There's three 300 pound linemen in front of him. He just walks right by all of them. Gets a free hit on me. Um. I'm going to send Watkins straight deep. Um, it looks like... can't tell it might be. I oh, know he's got a DB on him. But McKinnon might get open late, but I'm not sure if I have enough time for that. Watkins does kind of get open, but not enough. Got out of bounds again. Save my timeout still. Got to run high-low here. Just try to, I'm just trying to get some chunk yards. As long as I get the field goal here, it'll be... At least get some points. And I get the ball to start the second half, so... I'm not super worried about getting the touchdown. I had him open, but I waited too long. I'm um, gonna call a timeout here. So I'm just trying not to make a mistake. I had him wide open. I mean, if they send this blitz here, I'm gonna send McBride deep. If that guy blitzes, I mean, it's wide open, which he does. Through kind of far outside kind of risk him dropping that when he got hit there but he still caught it so I'm not too worried about it I'm going to send Mc or, uh, AJ Dillon here Ooh, Peoples Jones could beat him outside so I'm basically going to look at Peoples Jones, Dillon and then Watkins on that late I'm going to maybe send him on a little bit shorter no it didn't do anything I was hoping he would be kind of more towards the front pylon instead of the back pylon cut in front of the DB but uh, the hot route didn't do anything when I did the smart route um, but if people Jones beats this guy quick, I can throw it over the top. If not, Dylan might get open. And then if I have enough time, I'll look at Watkins. Uh, nope. He got open. So, there you can see my progression. Uh, people Jones got... He kind of beat him, but the safety came over to help. But then that left no safety help for the middle of the field with AJ Dylan getting open. I didn't even look over at Quez because I saw Dylan in that single coverage. So, I did make a pretty nice catch. I threw a little bit too far ahead of him. So we'll give them the ball back, but I mean, there's not much time for them to do anything with, so I'm not scared of anything right now. Just play deep coverage. They might get a couple of dink and dunk plays over the middle. They might take this out. See what happens if he does. Gets a somewhat decent return. Wasted some more time though, so we'll take it. Gonna run deep coverage. I'd love to get a sack with Russo in one of these plays. If we can get some coverage. Why did he get open? Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, I should have just run man with the safeties deep, but I didn't. Kirsten wasn't even that fast. Like, he just blew right by him. Oh my god. Alright, well, maybe I can do the same thing back the other way. That was a terrible play. I tried to jump up and swat it the last second with the corner, but, and you think with, I think it was Tariq Woolen, who's 6'4", so you think he'd be able to put his hand up there, but I guess it didn't matter. I have a chance to return this one, I guess. Nothing crazy here, nah. Can't get back to the 20, I mean, I, I couldn't do anything much with that. I don't even know if it would have let me nail it, he was 
pretty close to being out of the end zone. We're gonna audible here. We're gonna run this. I know how risky this is, but we're gonna see what happens here. No, I'll just run it. He gets a couple yards. I still have the timeout. I'm, just, I'm gonna go take it, try to take a shot. If I can get out of bounds, then I might get something out of this. Um, I'm gonna run oh, that's the fake jet. I wanted it to be an actual jet because I can get out of bounds, get a couple yards there. Almost. I just want to play with three receivers and I'll just go deep. Well, oh, actually, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna try to draw the safeties inside a little bit with an in route. Um, yeah, we're, we're just gonna run in in a slant. Try to hopefully draw one of the safeties inside and if people Jones or Watkins can beat the corner. Uh, the safety does come inside a little bit. Watkins gets a little bit of a step. Oh, that's a good throw. Oh, we have a chance here if he doesn't fall. Yes, wow. We'll take it. Get it right back after we keep up that big touch on Samuel. Yeah, so we can, uh, I'll show you kind of what I was trying to do here. Um, with the two guys coming inside here, the safety comes down. Looks like he's trying to cover McBride. I'm trying to help on McBride. He should have stayed deep on this. There was no reason for me to even throw it underneath one of these guys, but I mean, the computer just fell for it. And I mean, that 98 speed, who's he going against here? I mean, how old is Hayward? Probably like mid thirties. He doesn't have that speed to keep up with him. So. I mean, single coverage, Quez Watkins, basically touched down every time. No one's going to keep up with that 98 speed. He doesn't have great release, but, I mean, every once in a while he'll, he'll break it and <laughs> get a deep touchdown like that. What a way to go into the half. I mean, we gave up the touchdown, but show the resiliency of coming back and scoring right back on a deep touchdown of our own. I don't want to put Quez at a uh, return man to have the extra speed on the return, but I don't want to risk injuring him because he is very important for my offense. I'm going to send... Thomas deep middle of the field. They have a uh, middle field open with the two deep safeties. So there's a chance that he gets open. He might have single coverage with a linebacker and he has decent speed for a tight end. So there's a chance at it, it doesn't work. Um, I have the running back wide open over here. AJ Dillon might have a deep touchdown, but he's kind of slow. Should still get there. Yeah, he gets there. They just left AJ Dillon open. It looked like they were running his own. Shift over to the left, maybe I can get Rousseau. They're probably gonna fake that. Run it back this way. I just, oh, Rousseau dive, no! If Rousseau could have got uh, an assist to tackle, I think it was still on the tackle for loss. But he just stood there. I tried to switch to him and dive on that pile, but it didn't work. Let's get out quick. The problem with Tua is he's, he doesn't have a lot of arm power, so he keeps throwing it short. Not really giving me a chance to get pressure. Um, and they have a good right tackle. I might switch Rousseau. Get there. No, oh, I wrapped around the outside to the inside. I might switch him to the other side because I think their left tackle is only like a 73 or something. He might get more pressure over there if I just swap them. Um, but we're going to keep him over here for now. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, they just keep throwing it quick. I thought he was going to drop that. That was an interesting animation. I might run three down linemen. Let me run. I mean, three deep is kind of stupid here, but I'm gonna bring Whitehead up and see if I can. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to just give him a little bit of time to get in the backfield, but Rousseau's just not getting there. Maybe I could run a blitz. Run a man blitz. Um, it's third and one. They, they might just run this, but if I can get pressure. Uh, we're going to bring him up. If they do run this to the right, then it could come right to... Nope. Oh my god, I got beat again. We'll stop him. He's not going to score, but... <sighs> he just keeps getting the ball out too quick for me to get pressure. And I'm just... I'm focusing too much on trying to get in the backfield. Run the safety blitz. Uh, try to get Rousseau in the backfield. Nope, can't get any pressure right now. Well, he gets... That's a great catch with Ian Bounds. <laughs> Garrett Wilson with the touchdown. That was questionable. It won't even let me challenge it because it's a scoring play. They're not challenging it either. I, I, I'm not going to look at it. He looked like he was in. Don't get the jump quick enough. I'm 
I get another turn, he's been kicking it short, so we'll see. I'd love to break one loose at least one time this season. Kicks in the end zone. I'm going to turn anyway. I don't think it's that big of a difference going from the 20 or the 25, and I get back basically the 25 anyway. And just that chance of breaking one loose, or even if I don't get a touchdown out of it, getting a deep return, then uh, I think it's very valuable. I'm going to send uh, no, Thomas deep. Um, Watkins on that little bubble screen. And, I mean, it looks like this guy is going to come inside or drop back. I don't think he's going to come over to walk in, so I could have that, but I don't want to risk it if he, he does come inside. Throw it. It didn't throw it first. That play action took too long. I thought I could get it out quick, but... Didn't get great blocking either. Alright, maybe I get Dylan on this. This is basically the same play that I ran that got the touch on the last one. Uh, gotta be wide open. McBride, another big first down. We're gonna run no huddle here. Try to keep attacking this with the tight ends. Um, that could blitz. I'm not gonna run the double move here. I'm just gonna run him straight deep. Hopefully, he just gets the inside leverage here. Um, the safety could come off to the left on the other side, but doesn't. Probably gonna have to scramble here. Pretty easy yardage, just take the slide, not taking a hit with the quarterback. I'm gonna keep the tight ends on the field. Um, I might try it here, they have, oh no, they switched back. I was gonna say they have two high safeties here, but they just switched back. I mean, this, side, this time he's on the left side, so I might get Thomas. It's the same play, but just try it. Didn't work again. Have him, oh, he might not have had that first, wow. <laughs> he like bounced back. Didn't get the first down. I threw a low pass there to make him come back for it, so it kind of hurt since he had to dive. But I didn't want to risk throwing it high and it just getting swatted down. But I should have an easy run up the middle right here. AJ Dillon hasn't had a great game yet, so I can try to feed him a little bit, waste some time. I mean, he has good averages, but last time I had like 22 runs or something, and this time I just haven't been running the ball much. He did actually have a passing touchdown, um, maybe even two, so. Um, maybe get him some passing yards here. Uh, he has it. Go down so you don't get hit there. I don't even know if I've thrown the ball to Peoples Jones this game. I had that like, one deep touchdown to Quez. I really haven't been passing the ball that much either. We've been kind of just moving the ball down the field. Um, we should go ahead and run it up the middle. So I get them jump, nothing happened. Try to cut that back to the right, and he got yards out of it. The good thing about having Andrew Dillon is he'll just fight for the extra yardage even if there's people on his back, so. I don't really have to like do a lot of juking or break tackles. He'll just kind of carry people with him. I'm gonna send people deep. Uh, people jump should get single coverage on the outside. The safety should come off on Chark here, who's veering inside a little bit. So if he gets his outside leverage here, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, nobody's open. Just dump it off to McBride. Yeah. I tried to, uh, do a truck stick there, but I was turned to the side, so it juked inside a little bit instead of trying to truck him, so didn't break the tackle. I'm just going to try to get Dylan a rushing touchdown here. Just take my time, go up the middle. Um, I can just keep running this up the middle. It should eventually score. I'm going to run some no huddle. We're gonna run a read option just in case. I'm just gonna hand this off, even if the guy comes inside. Yeah, I mean, he'll just dink his, dunk his way in. Gets an easy touchdown. I mean, it's looking very much like Russo is not gonna get his upgrade, which sucks, but still a chance, but he would need, I don't think he has any stats yet. I don't even think he has a tackle, so. They get a big run up the middle. I wasn't even really paying that much attention. I was just worried about Rousseau. Um, I'm not even sure what to do. Like I said, I'm not getting any pressure with when I'm playing him, even with the lineman tired. I, I tried breaking off of that twice and it wouldn't do anything. I, I'm gonna try switching his side, see if I get anything. Let me real quick look and see his stats. Um, maybe he does have something. Uh, we'll just, I mean, I'm just going to scroll down. 
uh, Rousseau. No, yeah, he doesn't have his tackle for loss either, so he does have one tackle. That's not gonna get it. What I need. Oh, whoops, I wanna switch his side. Okay, I gotta think about what plays I'm picking better. <laughs> I swear, if I would've like got a pick with JOK there. Okay, so we need to have formations. I want three, four, but he's still on the line, it looks like. No, actually he's not. Um, so we're gonna run Sting Pinch. Okay, Rousseau's coming off the edge. I'm gonna come off the side a slight bit. I should run like a press here, but I don't have time to think about that right now. Oh my god, I still get that cover at the same blocker that I'm trying to get away from. Um, so we're going to... Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring Rousseau out, bring Fitzpatrick in, so he'll take the blocker. Okay, and then they just run to the other side. And I still really didn't get it inside with uh, Rousseau either. I, I, I don't think he's going to be able to get it. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Maybe I can bring him to the other side here. It, okay, it just like brought me inside. I couldn't even control him. I was trying to run to the left and it was just pulling him to the right where he was supposed to be blitzing. Um, so we're gonna press cover, try to get this pressure here. Oh, I finally beat it, but now all of us beat it. They're gonna go for this. Okay, we're gonna try running coverage here. Uh, cover one robber. And I guess he came out. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, innate. Okay. I'm not really worried about them scoring points right here. I'm just trying to get Russo the dev trait. It's not working. I'm frustrated with that. He's not even in here. All right, so we're gonna try to hustle up on this drive. Um, send Quez deep. I'm gonna send Don People Jones deep as well. Um, they have the two high safeties, but if actually if I send McBride deep, they might come inside on that. Uh, he doesn't really do that. But I do get AJ Dillon open. Dillon's starting to have a pretty good game overall. It's not as much rushing, but he's been doing pretty good receiving this game. I'd love to be able to hand this off to Chark. I feel like something that Madden could add is like, I don't even know how to explain it, but if you just hold A here, it would like give it to the receiver on that end round. I'm just gonna throw it, okay, he's gonna lose yards on that. Um, but yeah, so like if I see like that he would have the opportunity to get a, a decent yard on the run there, if I was able to just hand it to him. But I mean, that'd be kind of complex, but it would make a higher skill cap, I think, and make uh, pro play more competitive and add like another layer to it. Or another angle, the AJ Dillon. I got the same play basically here. Send these two deep. They have the double safeties, but McBride's going deep already. So this is basically the same play. And it was a different play that I picked, but I just hot routed it in the same play. Uh, Quez gets, the, yeah, Quez gets wide open there. Another big touchdown for Quiz. I mean, speed kills the receiver. I said that when I drafted him. This is why I wait on the receivers, because I, you just can't cover him. Especially in like two years or so, when he has pretty good uh, release. He's still young, it's only his third year, I think, so. He's gonna be insane in a couple years, in the game. I don't know about in real life. I like Quiz in real life, but I don't know if he's gonna develop that much more than what he's at right now. I would love it, being an Eagles fan, I would love it if he just takes off. They could have a three-headed monster receiver. He's been decent this year, just, he could still develop quite a bit though. Pick that, oh, nice pain. Gets tackled. I don't know who tipped that, I didn't see, but. <clears throat> Let's see what happened there. It might've hit the, one of his line. 
Is she showing me the celebration? Okay, what a replay. I'm watching him just squat down, take a poop. Like, what is this replay? I can't see the play, for real. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize, if I just went to the pause menu, yeah, it literally tells me Rousseau has none of the stats that he needs, okay. So I, could, I didn't even need to go in and look at the stats the way I did, I could just look at it there. I don't think that was on the, the last map, oh, that's not the throw I wanted, he still catches it. Another big play for Quez. I missed the extra point. <laughs> yeah, I just rushed it. I, just, I keep hitting it to the right. I don't know what I'm doing. Kick it off. It'll go out of the back of the end zone. They're just going to kneel it again. I mean, there's still six minutes left. I'm gonna try running a prevent here. Um, okay, well, this is not what I was hoping for. This might have worked if. Okay, yeah, the prevent was actually terrible defense there, but it worked out. Um, I'm gonna. I don't know. I'm losing hope very quickly for this to work. I'm just gonna try swapping their sides here. I'll put JOK back at uh, linebacker. What am I doing? I can't do that either. What am I doing? Oh my god. Okay, so we'll go here. I can put Dunlap here. Then we'll put JOK here. Put Rousseau here. And Hendrickson here. Hendrickson really hasn't been getting any pressure this game either. But the oops. But the uh, right tackle's been just locking up Rousseau. <clears throat> They're gonna have to pass it now, so hopefully Rousseau can get some kind of pressure here. Oh my god, there was a chance there if he could have read the play. I think if I got like a pick with him, that might just kind of override it. He still might get it. I've seen something like that before. Where it's like a defensive player get like two sacks, but I got like a pick six with them or something. Um, and ended up working out. Yeah. And it still gave me the upgrade, even though I didn't get the stats that it told me to get. Send the blitz here. I'm gonna send Wilson inside as well, hopefully. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I left the running back wide open, but um, I was trying to get pressure, and I was kind of hoping he would block and wouldn't go out for a route. He did go out for the route, and he threw it that way, but it was too late. And he got hit. Another one. Russo broke the block, but couldn't get that quick enough. To Tua, this is like the worst situation for him to get that, because Tua was just getting the ball out so quickly. They're running a lot of dink and dunk plays. Eric Fisher shirt. I think that might be their left tackle. So I might have a backup on Russo now. I'm trying to send him inside. Really? I mean, I don't. I just don't know what to do with Russo. I can't get anything with him. Running another screenplay. Couldn't get over it quick enough. Minka gets the tackle after a big play that they get. Alright. I mean, I just don't foresee them running it. They do anyway. Somebody get off the block. I mean, I might just try running like an all out blitz here. And it's, I gotta try something. I have a special, special teams, okay. Um, so we'll run this. I can't do that. Okay, I'm just gonna run this. Yeah, they only have one. Where is Rousseau? I'm gonna go with Payne here. Nice. No! <laughs> he 
He got there and then didn't get the tackle. That would have been a tackle for loss. Oh, that's upsetting. It my play worked. Gonna run the overload blitz on this left side, maybe. I don't like that Campbell's inside of Russo here. Pick that. Okay. Right. Get something to go stay down. We get something still that sucks. He had that tackle for loss and then just got trucked. What was that? And I was I mean I'm not gonna be able to get it. I can look real quick and see if no yeah, he has nothing. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I tried. Good blocking. The, oh, I don't know how I just hurtled there. I did a juke and he somehow just jumped over the guy. It's interesting. I should have been able to get more out of that. Again, he just breaks the tackle and gets some extra yardage. I'm not doing the two clock here just in case I get to score pretty quickly, then give them the ball back and get something maybe with Russo. A two minute warning. I might throw the ball here. I was trying to get AJ Dillon some more yards, try to get him to 100. <coughs> There's a chance I could get him to lead the league in rushing and uh, get him with dev trait. It looks like Quez could get open deep here. If this guy does blitz, then I have it. I'm gonna send McBride short. Um, and we'll send Peoples Jones on an out route. Just try to send Quez deep. He just gets the bump coverage. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not open. I'm gonna run this. These guys are just standing here, slide. I could've went out of bounds there if I'm trying to actually stop the clock and get the, ball, uh, get the Vikings the ball back, but I'm, I'm not worried about it. I have Chark inside. I don't think Chark has a catch this game. So maybe I'll get Chark right here. Let him get past the linebacker. That's a terrible throw. And yeah, that's back. Okay. Alright, so I ended up getting the Vikings the ball back. Just wasted not that much more time. Running a lot of screens all of a sudden. Mika should have got the tackle there. Can't make it. They stayed in bounds though, so the clock's running. They're not calling timeout. I'm gonna call timeout for them. Screw it. I'm gonna try to get something. If I can get a pick with Russo, maybe it'll work. So maybe I'll just drop him back in coverage or something. I don't even know what to do. Oh. Russo's change of direction is not very high. I couldn't turn quick enough for that. On the blitz. So it just gets manhandled. I don't know what happened between last game and this game. Last game, every time I would play with Rousseau, he was just burning by the linemen. This game, he's getting manhandled. He can't get in the backfield at all right now. He had one play that he was in the backfield, and he got absolutely trucked by Jonathan Taylor. Bull rush. I don't... I would love to see what happened here. I mean, we can look at it and it actually lets me look at the replay this time. But, I mean, I get the bull rush. It literally says I win. You see Rousseau gets past this guy. He gets, I guess, blocked by this guy. Yeah, he got double teamed after he beat it. I mean, I wish he would have just been able to go inside off that bull rush. Still gets inside, but then just gets glued back to the guy again. Like, like you see that he pushed the guy off. He beats him here. He would have had a sack here, but then he just gets glued back to the guy. Couldn't get his hands up or anything. I why does he keep doing this to Minka? How do they expect him to get over here and cover this guy? That's like the disguise of all disguises. <laughs> Finally using their timeouts. I was gonna send another like crazy blitz, I think. Casino blitz here. Again, they're bringing safety all the way across the field to try to help. Coming with Minka. Can't tackle Jonathan, neither of them can tackle Jonathan Taylor. They just bounce right off of him. 12 seconds left, send that blitz again. Oh, can't get inside, doesn't matter what happens. They don't get the touchdown, goes out of bounds, get another chance. I just don't know. Do I have like a play that I can, and they're probably just gonna run this up the gut, honestly. Well, 
with the way the clock is, I might not. I was trying to find one that Rousseau would come off in coverage. Doesn't look like that's an option. Uh, I didn't even pick a play in time. Again, I... I have another chance. I beat it twice. It literally says I won, but he just gets glued to the guy. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to shift everybody this way. They might run this. Nope. I beat him inside. Get stuck again. Doesn't matter. <coughs> again, I don't care about them scoring points. I was trying to get Rousseau's superstar. It does not work. Never even got a single stat, even though I was <laughs> trying very hard to. That sucks. Alright, well, we get the win anyway. It was a decent game. We did give up a decent amount of points, but... Look at the stats real quick. Um, Willis, 22-28. 5 TDs, 2 interceptions. Um, 424 yards. So again, another good game for him. He has a couple of interceptions, but that's not a huge deal. Uh, John, or, uh, AJ Dillon... Uh, Jonathan Taylor was only 55 yards. That's, we held him pretty well. Another good run defensive game. Um, Malik Willis got a decent bit of yardage. Probably get more from him later on in the season when things start to open up for him passing and he's able to kind of scramble a little bit more. Uh, AJ Dillon, 88. He did have two touchdowns rushing. I think he had a receiving touchdown as well. Wait, two. So he had four touchdowns overall. <laughs> So, yeah, he had a pretty big game. He had 137 yards receiving. So, not the best running day for him, but he was probably the best receiver in the game. Um, overall, my receivers didn't do really anything. Quez had a big game. Um, does it, he didn't have that many catches. Where It doesn't... Oh, four catches. So, he did have a couple. A lot of yardage, though, because he had two big, deep plays. Chark did have three catches. Not much yardage. People Jones had the one catch in... I, thought he lost yardage on it but it says he got a yard that was that one that i tried to run like the fake end around and then just dropped it off to him but i guess he got a yard out of that somehow not really sure when he did that uh and then i guess yeah i guess thomas my backup tight end didn't get any catches i thought maybe i threw at least one to him uh, we had one sack defensively Logan Wilson led the team in tackles. Uh, Fred Warner had a decent game. He should have had a pick, dropped it. Tariq Woolen did have a pick in the end zone. That was a big play. And also had seven tackles. That's pretty good. Um, Winfield had a pretty good game overall. Uh, I don't think we did have one sack from Andre Smith. I uh, did think about moving Rousseau to middle linebacker. I don't even know when Andre Smith was playing that he got a sack. Um, oh, it, yeah, I was when I ran that stump blitz, but somebody else got the sack right before uh, Rousseau got there. Um, no fumbles, nothing like that. No touchdowns, so. Returning. Austin had a decent game returning. Didn't really give much up to them. He only had one return for 21 yards, yeah, so. Nothing special there. So, overall, it was a pretty good game. Come out with another win. We'll see what happens. I'm not going to get the superstar for Rousseau. It sucks, but he might have another chance later in the season. I don't know if people get it really twice in one season, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Christian Wilkins gets an upgrade. Let's go ahead and get his power rusher. Um, just power moves, nothing else. Nothing special there. But we scored 50 points back-to-back -back games with a bad offense, so... So we'll go ahead and look at it, and Rousseau will just say disappointed, whatever. Yeah. So that sucks. See if he gets anything out of it. He might get a couple. No, yeah, he didn't even get experience or anything. Um, that's everything I need for this week. Again, I'm not looking at the trade offers for Whitehead. I, I'm going to keep him. So we'll go ahead and send him to the next week. Um, and that'll be it for this episode. That was a decent game. Didn't throw as many interceptions this last game, so I guess a little bit of progress. Still five touchdowns, I think, passing, so um, that was good. We'll look at the play of the weeks, because we got something again. AJ Dillon this week. First week, um, I thought he had a chance at it, but Millie Willis got it even with all those interceptions. This week, I mean, four touchdowns. 
Um, over 200 yards total for AJ Dillon. So that's a good game. Von Miller got three sacks. Wish we could have got that from Russo. But can only do so much. Um, yeah, other than that, we're going to... That'll be it for this episode. Um, we'll jump in next week um, in just a little bit. See you guys soon.